As much as I talk about Duda on this channel, it's not always the right tool for the job. In some cases, you flat out can't build what you want to build, and in other cases, you might just not be able to hit the same level of quality you want to hit. So here are the main five things that I look out for when determining if Duda is the right or wrong tool for the job. All right, number one, if it's very important to create a pixel perfect website, Duda might not be the right platform for the job. And I'm not saying that it can't be done, but it's just gonna be more difficult to create a pixel perfect website. So let's take, for example, if we need to add a certain amount of margin below every single header. So once we add this header, we're gonna go to the spacing and have to manually input what margin we want. Let's say it's 30 pixels. Now, some of the stuff you can achieve via doing custom CSS, but we're only looking at doing the UI. Also note that Duda automatically adds this eight margin on top and bottom and two pixels of padding. And it doesn't look like there's a way to like default it to zero. So every single header you add, if you wanna make sure things are like pixel perfect, then you have to mentally go in and do all of this. And you have to remember or go to your documentation on like, okay, well, what's the exact pixels we're using below every single header? And it might be different for H1s, H2s, H3s. So creating a pixel perfect website isn't likely. Now to compare this to something like Webflow, once we add a header, so I'm going to add this is a fresh site, just like the Duda one, we're able to say, okay, on all H1 headings, add that 30 pixels of spacing. And that way, now if I were to go add a, another header, then this one also has this 30 pixels right here. So it automatically is going to adhere to your style guide. All right, number two, in websites, it's very common to want to reuse different components. That is to, to create some sort of block on the website or item on the website and reuse it across the website. Now this kind of ties into being pixel perfect, but it also ties into just like being super efficient. And so let's say I'm adding this feature in Duda and these things are typically called cards and they usually have like a title, a description, sometimes an icon, sometimes a button. Now the idea is, I wanna be able to reuse this across the website. Now, lucky for us, we can copy and paste it so we can use the same thing over and over on the website, but the key is if we ever need to make a change. So this is like, say if I wanna go in and say, you know, the 40 pixels isn't enough or on mobile, I want it to drop down to 20 pixels. Well, you're gonna to have to go through every single one in order to make that change. All right, on Webflow, let's add something similar. And let's say this right here is the card. Well, what we can do is actually turn this into a component. And now we give it a name and let's call it card. And we're able to basically create all the different properties or fields we want in here. So we're gonna say we have a title, a body, link text, and the link itself. And then we go in here and we actually connect everything. So we say, this is gonna be the title. This is going to be the body. This is going to be the link text. And this is going to be the link. And now what's really cool about that is if we go in here and say, this is card one, and then we duplicate this, we can go into this one and say, this is card two. And now we can edit the actual uh, component itself and make any changes globally to them so we can say we're going to add a background to them or we're going to add uh, you know more spacing but now it's going to affect all of them across the entire site so we're able to not only create pixel perfect websites but be able to be more efficient all right this next one's a big one for me i really like using the cms this is a way that you can be efficient to save time to be consistent across the website and I'm really stoked to know that Duda has a CMS built in. Not a lot of platforms do. It's an extendable CMS, which is important. But where it is limited is you can't really customize how it's laid out without going into custom code. Let me show you. All right, so I have a collection of team members here and the fields are name, position, about, and image. Now, when it comes to laying them out, I'm pretty limited on what I can do. So I'm going to add a photo gallery as this is one of the widgets that can be connected to a collection and it's going to be um, pretty aligned with what I need, but not all the way there. So here's the limitation. We only have these set of fields that we can connect. So the title, we're going to hook up to the name, description, position, uh, all text, link text. I'm not going to worry about that right now. But what I can't bring in is the uh, about. And if there's you know a bunch of different fields that you want to bring in you're only able to bring in the title description you can map anything to those but it's still only two fields 
So now we can see we have the title and the name, but no description. So this is a big limitation with content management systems. On Webflow, let's do the same thing. We'll use their template for team members, save this collection, and then generate five sample items. And now we can see we've got a bunch of different fields, bio, summary, job title, um, all this good stuff. Now when it comes to laying this out, we have the ability to pull in any of the fields we want. So we're given a blank template, which is a disadvantage for some because you have to put in more work to get there, but we're able to completely customize it. So I can bring in team members and now I can bring in every single field I want to. So we can say, we're gonna bring in the heading for each one. We're gonna map it to the name. Um, then we're gonna bring in a paragraph widget and we're going to map it to the uh, bio and we can keep doing this on and on and on. We'll bring a text block. So all the widgets you're able to bring in and be able to connect to your uh, CMS. And you can just keep building this on and on. So this is really, really powerful when you have a content management system that you need to bring in a lot of different fields or customize the way it looks. All right, on the CMS note, this is like one of the biggest things for me. I told you I love using the CMS and a lot of platforms can't do this. It's like a more of an advanced type of feature and it's called relational data. So if we go to Duda and let's just pretend because I don't want to build this out right now, we have a collection of well, team members. We already have that. And let's say the other collection is locations. We have two different collections and what we want to do is say which team members service different locations. Maybe you have like different offices or um, you know something like that. Well, you can't say I want to go on um, location A and bring in team members one and two so they display on the page and then location B and bring in team members three and four. You can't relate two collections together. And so this is going to be a little problematic when you do need that type of capability. On Webflow, Let's create, just because we have the templates right here, events, for example. And then we're going to say, add a new field. And then we're going to have these two fields here, reference and multi-reference. So reference, you could bring in, you know, one team member and multi-reference multiple. And we're going to say like the team members that are working this event. And the collection we want to reference is team members. Now, when we are editing events, we can go into the team members and select the different team members we want to bring in. And what's really powerful is when you go back to displaying the content in a collection list, you're able to not only bring in the fields that belong to the uh, say events template, you're able to bring in all of the fields that belong into the referenced collection, which is the team members. So you can see how powerful it is to say, okay, here's the event that we're listing and here's the team member that's going to be working it and their phone number and maybe a little biography about them so you know who to expect when you get to the event. That is very powerful. Um, it's kind of simple at the same time though and there's a lot of use cases for it. So it's definitely something that if I need it and they don't have that, then I probably won't be using Duda. All right, last and definitely not least, this one, it just depends on like the type of projects you're working on. So in some cases you need that pixel perfect website or you need to get the exact design that you're trying to achieve. When other websites, it's like, it doesn't matter. Can you get to the contact us page? Does it have the basic information? And, and that's that. So on Duda, you are limited to the design that they provide you. So if we are editing this background, for example, the only fields we have exposed to us are these guys right here. Um, and say if we want to add a shadow, we have a little bit of flexibility to it, but there's actually a lot more that can be done as far as like what you can do in CSS. And you're going to find that there's a lot of limitations in Duda once you know what you can actually do in like CSS. And Webflow pretty much implements everything you can do in CSS. So if we were to just go to like anything right here, we can see all of the different items on the right panel that we are able to adjust. It's overwhelming for many people. I came from a CSS background, so I understand all of this stuff, but it's actually not that much once you get into it. So basically you just have almost everything you can do in custom CSS 
within the UI right here. And that's extremely powerful when you need to create the designs that you have either in your head or that a designer did. And that's really powerful when you either have a design that you're trying to create that's in your head or something that was done in like Figma or designer put together and you're able to implement it in Webflow. On Duda, there's gonna be many cases where you're gonna say, well, this looks cool, but I can't implement that because we're not gonna go down the custom CSS route. That's just gonna take too much work. So if I need to do one of those five things, I likely won't be using Duda. Peace.